Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 90 Minute Power Yoga. This class is live right now as I'm recording it, and you can hopefully join on Facebook or you can find it later on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, and all the yoga classes will be free. I haven't been adding music to my classes the last little while just because of the copyright issues, but feel free to follow me on Spotify. You can find plenty of playlists there under my name, Tamara YBR, like the airport code for Vancouver, YBR. And uh, you can use any of those playlists or you're welcome to listen to your own music or just practice in quiet. Today I will use one of these Living Peace intention cards to start us off for our practice. And I encourage you to find an intention for your practice today as well as an opportunity for a dedication. So a person, a place, a cause, anything that you would like to send your energy to today. And as always, this class can be modified to any amount or you can add on to any degree that you'd like to either um, take care of yourself, maybe need um, a little bit of rest, or maybe you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more. And the intention card for today is the word bliss. A serene joy that comes forward to be embraced with the, most, with the utmost gratitude. Through appreciation of life, bliss arises in your entire being and ignites pure joy. So in yoga, we have the term samadhi, which means bliss. And this is kind of the top of the chakra. This is the ultimate goal is to reach this state of bliss or enlightenment. And we do that through the opening of the seven energy centers. And how do we open those seven energy centers is through a combination of pranayama, the breath control, the asanas, the postures, and trying to hold them in stillness, trying to find some kind of stillness. Of course, there's always movement. And uh, shavasana, the final relaxation. But that relaxation can come also at the finality of every inhale and the finality of every exhale. So it's throughout the entire practice. And if you combine those things together, you can bring yourself to a state of samadhi or bliss. So maybe you have that as your intention for today, every day, hopefully. Put that up here. The candle. All right. Today we'll start in a nice tall seat to share a beautiful sound of OM together. So find yourself sitting nice and tall, bring your hands to your heart center, rooting down through your sitting bones and reaching up to the crown. Take a deep quivering breath in through your nose. And a sigh out your mouth, exhale. One more, inhale through your nose. And a sigh out your mouth. And bring your awareness to your intention. So maybe you have a personal intention, it could be the idea of bliss or samadhi. A collective intention, something for the greater good. Maybe a dedication. And hold all of those at your heart center. The next breath is for Om. Deep inhale. Oh. Let that Om radiate from your heart center in all directions. Let it be the foundation of this practice. And as you're ready, make your way down onto your back. Do a little bit of forward to start. So come all the way down onto your back, hug your knees into your chest, rock out side to side. And then extend your legs up toward the ceiling. Take your fingertips behind your ears, elbows out wide. Lift your head and shoulders up. Lower your right leg down to the mat. Take an inhale, exhale, lift a little bit higher. Take one more inhale here, exhale, twist to the left side. Inhale back through center, exhale to lower, and we'll switch the legs. Left leg lowers, right leg is lifted. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back through center, exhale, lower. Then switch sides. We'll go a little bit faster. Twist to the left and lower. Twist to the right and lower. Exhaling as you come up and twist. Inhaling as you lower and switch your legs. 
keep going. Try to hover those legs, keep them active. Twisting open to the right side or the left side. Keep your elbows as far away from each other as you can. Keep the belly drawing in nice and strong. Keep the legs active. Maybe you start to bring in a stronger exhalation. A little bit of a forced movement out of the nose. It's similar to the Ujjayi breath, but a little bit more powerful. A bit of a pumping action. A few more times each side. And now we're going to add in an arrow with the arm. So exhale to the outside, exhale to the inside, lower and switch. Exhale to the outside, exhale to the inside, lower and switch. Keep going. Side, middle, side, middle. Legs still active, belly in, breath is pumping in and out through the nose. Three more each side. Last two each side. Last round. Beautiful. Release your head, hug your knees into your chest, rock side to side. Feel that core already engaged and keep that with you as we move through the class. You can hug behind your thighs or roll over to your side, rock and roll yourself all the way up to your seat and then cross over your ankle. Make your way forward onto your hands and step back to plank pose. Take a deep breath in as you rock forward. Hold the belly in. Draw the shoulders away from each other by rounding the back. You can always lower the knees. Let the heels come more forward. Right on the tips of your toes. See if you can puff up that space between your shoulder blades. Take a deep inhale. And a long exhale. I'm trying to get my timer happening here. Oops. A deep inhale. Uh oh. Long exhale. One more deep inhale, rock forward more, belly in strong, press into your hands, long exhale. One more inhale, rock forward, this time exhale, 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 all the way down onto your belly. Take your fingertips out wide, off of your mat, finger stand cobra, or exalted cobra, Viparita Bhujangasana. Root the tops of your feet down as you inhale, lift your head and chest up. Good, exhale, right shoulder down, look over your left. Inhale, lift your head and chest up, open the shoulders. Exhale, left shoulder down, look over your right. Inhale through center. Exhale, lower all the way down. Slide your palms underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes. Come back up to that high push-up position. And from here, we'll have five chaturanga push-ups. You can lower your knees if you like. I know you love these chaturanga push-ups. Inhale to lower. Exhale, push back up. Keep that belly in strong. Use your knees if you need. Two more. Beautiful. And all the way back in that downward facing dog. Pedal out your heels a couple of times and then settle in. Five deep breaths. And once you get into your settled position, spread your fingertips wide, root through your finger pads, heels pressing down, hips are lifting back and up toward where the ceiling meets the wall. And if you need, you can always bend your knees a lot here. Belly button toward the thighs and hips going back and up. Just keep that extension. Deep breaths in. Long breaths out. Two more. On your next inhale, come high on your toes. Bend your knees a lot. Look forward to the top of your mat. Walk step or hop. Halfway lift as you inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale to fold, Uttanasana. Again, inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Let your tailbone lengthen, palms touch as you look up, maybe arch back. 
Exhale, hands to heart center, samastitihi. Inhale, urdhva hastasana again. Arch back if you like. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward, uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms, step your right and left foot back again, high plank pose. Get from here, five chaturanga push-ups. Inhale to lower, push back up for five. Four, three, two, one. And now halfway down or all the way down. Take it back then, cobra or upward dog. Roll over the toes if you like here, or Dramukhashvanasana. Thighs are lifting, chest is lifting. Can always also be in low cobra. Take one more inhale here. Now you're welcome to come back to high plank, right into downward dog, or one more chaturanga, and then downward facing dog. Deep inhale, long exhale. On your next inhale breath, walk your hands a little bit closer to your feet. We'll come into a twist here, so keep the hips lifting up and back, still downward dog. Do you your right hand? Reach underneath your body for your left ankle, calf, or thigh, or maybe tuck your hand underneath your left heel and then twist underneath your left arm. Take a deep inhale breath as you look up underneath your arm. Root through your left finger pad. One more breath. And starting to bring in that ujjayi breath if you haven't already now, that constriction in the throat. You wait your left hand, reach underneath for your right ankle, calf, thigh, or your heel. That slight constriction in the throat to create that ocean-like sound. Follow that sound of your breath today. Look up underneath your right arm, two more deep breaths. Bring your hips back and up. And releasing your hands back up in front of you to the original position. One more deep inhale. Long exhale. If you can find your toes, step your big toes together to catch, look forward. Walk, step or hop. Halfway lift, inhale. Uttanasana, fold, exhale. Inhale to rise all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana, little back bend if you like. Fold forward again, take your breath all the way down. Inhale, lengthen, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, plant your hands, left foot, right foot back again. This time we'll do some scapular push-ups. You're welcome to lower your knees. Try not to bend your elbows. Let your chest sink down and then push back up. Let's do 10. Chest sinks down. Look at my arms are straight and I'm just letting my chest lower. Eight. Seven. Six. Knees can be lowered. Five. Straight arms. Just the chest is lowering. Three more. Two, last one. Now inhale, lower halfway down. Take your back bend. Cobra upward dog, big breath in. Come back to high plank position. One chaturanga here if you like. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. So big opening of the shoulders already this morning. Deep inhale and a long exhale. Let's get into the hips. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Start to stack your right hip open over your left. Bend your knee, drop your foot to the left side. So big opening as you lift that knee higher. Feel free to stay here. Try to square your shoulders down. If you want to flip over already, you can take that right foot behind you. Stay high on the right toes, a wild thing. Look up and back. Press the pelvis up toward the ceiling. One more breath, maybe you look to your hands. Flip all the way back around. Downward dog, other side, left leg lifts up. Stack your hip, bend your knee, drop your foot to the right, big hip opening. Try to square your shoulders down to the mat. You can stay right here. Keep lifting that knee higher, or maybe you want to flip over. Coming high on your left toes. Lift your left heel. Press down the outer blade of your right foot. Maybe you look to your left hand. Deep breath in and out. Come back, three-legged dog. And then both feet step down. Take one more round of breath. Exhale, incline your toes. Walk your feet a little bit closer to your hands this time. Sink your hips down to your heels, knees out wide. Come back up, like pitching yourself forward, lowering down again, and then forward. And now this time maybe you add in a few hops, pressing strongly into your hands. Lift your bum, your heels, 
then the third or fourth hop, come forward between your hands. Urdha Uttanasana, halfway lift, lengthen, realign. Fold Uttanasana. Rise up, inhale, bring your breath with you. One breath per movement, Surya Namaskar A, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, plant your palms, Chaturanga, walk a step or hop back. Take your back bend. High plank to Chaturanga. Exhale to downward dog. Deep inhale. Long exhale, big toes touch, look forward. Come forward, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Hopefully you're feeling warm. Stay standing, hands to heart center. Samastitihi, take a moment, take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Now on your next inhale, sit your hips low. Sweep your fingertips along the mat and try to pull yourself back like you would sit all the way back onto your bum. But resist that urge to fall back by curling your tailbone toward your heels and draw the belly in. That's Mula Bandha. Say good morning to Mula Bandha. And then draw even higher up into the mid-abdominals. That's Uliana Bandha. And then reach your arms up to the sky. Those are your two abdominal locks to support your core, support your spine. We give you the strength for many of the poses that we'll do today. Let your knees draw further back. Sit your hips a little lower. Reach your chest higher. Hold here. Five deep breaths. Concentrate your energy on one point. Find that ujjayi breath. And one more inhale. Lift your chest. Exhale, lift your hips and fold, bow forward deeply. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, plant your palms, walk, step or hop back through Chaturanga or to your belly. Take your back bend as you inhale, lift your chest. Take an extra Chaturanga from high plank if you like, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Take a breath in here, nice long exhale. Inhale your right leg up to the sky. Let's do a little bit of core work here. Exhale, right knee to right upper arm. Pause and hold. Inhale, right leg goes back. Exhale, right knee to left upper arm. Pause and hold. Add in your variations if you like. Inhale, right leg goes back. Exhale, knee to chest. Now round in tightly here. Knee towards your forehead, high on the back toes. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, step your right foot inside of your right thumb. Back heel spins down, warrior one. Deep inhale, long exhale. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the lower back, interlace your palms, lengthen your arms as you breathe in. Bow forward as you breathe out. Come down as low as you like, but keep the outer right hip pulling back and in. Outer left foot pressing down. Hands coming up and over the head if you like. Bow in, crown toward the floor, chin to the chest. One more deep breath. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, rise up. Use your hands to pull you all the way back up. Reach to the sky. Let's take a vinyasa. Palms come down, step your left toes back to get longer. Right leg floats as you exhale, exhale down. Take your back bend. Lift your heart. Roll over toes, chaturanga if you like. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Deep breath in, long breath out. Left leg lifts, inhale, little core work. Knee to left upper arm, hug in tight. Good, inhale back through center, lift it up. Right upper arm, twist, try to tap it. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to chest, not only knee to chest, but knee to nose, so tuck in tight. High on the back toes, inhale, exhale. And one more inhale, look forward. Step forward as you exhale. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Outer left hip pulling back, front knee bends. Deep breath in and a long breath out. Hands to the lower back, knuckles down, chest lifts. Inhale, exhale, bow forward. Let the shoulder rest or slide down the inside 
of the left leg, crown comes down toward the floor, knuckles lift up and outer left hip is pulling back. Deep inhale, long exhale. One more breath, inhale, hands tight together, exhale. Root down through your feet, pull yourself back up, reach to the sky, big breath in. Take your vinyasa, plant your hands, step your right foot a bit further back, float your left leg as you lower. Ignore back bend, it can still be cobra. Take extra chaturanga here. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Deep inhale, long exhale. Go behind your toes, bend your knees a lot, look forward to the top of your mat. If you like, take three hops, little donkey kicks, your bum to your heel, or a little cannonball, nice and tight with the knee. And then land your feet between your palms, or just hold a couple more breaths, and then hop forward. So hop, 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 and then forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, big toes touch, heels slightly apart, get down into the chair. Bring your hands to your heart. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow outside the right knee. I like to tip my fingertips here. Helps to strengthen the hands for hand balancing. Pull your outer left hip and left knee back. Get deeper into the chair. Stay or open your wing or any variations if you want to float it out. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale back through center. Get back to the chair. Hands to heart center, inhale, lean forward. Exhale, twist to the left. Tense your fingertips, pull your right knee and right hip back, get lower. Strengthen those hands, press the top finger pads into the bottom finger pads. Maybe open your wings or float it out. Deep breath in, long breath out. One more. Inhale back to chair pose, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, enjoy the fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Making our way back, Chaturanga, nice and light. Back bend, breathe in. Make your way back through Chaturanga if you like. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Option to add in the float for Kundanyasana. I'm gonna clear the top of my mat, you might want to too. Inhale, right leg lifts up to the sky. Right knee to right upper arm, stay here. Maybe chaturanga arms. Maybe you float your right toes. Stand, left leg lifts. Good, sweep it back up. Any variation or stage. Right knee to left upper arm. Hook the elbow, bend your elbow. Lean forward a lot, maybe drag your left toes with you. Maybe you can extend your right leg straight. Left toes lift, kundanyasana A. Beautiful, if you're giving it a try, keep trying, right leg lifts, knee to chest, come forward. This time we'll step through to the center, line up your front heel to your back arch, rise up, warrior two, deep inhale, exhale, go lower. One more, extend, exhale, go lower, get that front leg parallel, knee over the ankle, check you can see your front big toes. Two more breaths, inhale, Exhale, last one, inhale, nice strong arms, exhale. Flip your right palm up, left hand down, inhale, reach up. As you exhale, palm to the back of your head, turn your heart open. Exalted warrior, Viparita Virabhadrasana. Stay here, or take your left hand behind your back, maybe to the outer right hip, maybe between the shoulder blades, Maybe both hands meet. Open your heart. Find that full bind if you can. You can always use a strap or a sock. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. One more. Turn your heart open. Knee to the right. Deep breath in. Lift your chest. Then deeper exhale. Inhale. Back through center. Open your arms. Side angle pose. Parsvokanasana. Right forearm to right thigh. Left arm can start right, straight up or take it over your head, Uttita Parsvokanasana. You're welcome to go lower with that right hand, <clears throat> inside your right foot or onto a block. Kind of turn your pinky finger down and thumb up. Look underneath your arm, roll your chest open. 
As you scoop your hips to the left side of your mat, roll your top hip open more. Stay here or spin your back, your top hand behind you. Left hand to the sacrum, maybe right shoulder underneath the right thigh. Maybe find a bind, half bind, full bind. Maybe use a strap or a sock. Roll your chest open. Take a few deep breaths here. If you have Bird of Paradise pose in your practice, look forward, step forward. I'll do it with you. Come behind your right toes, root through your left foot. Stand that foot down as you stand all the way up. Even if you don't have the bind, you can still stand up. Extend your right leg if you can. Open your chest. A little smile feels good. Feels gratitude. Beautiful. Slowly make your way back. Doesn't always look perfect. Side angle pose. And from here, stand up, warrior two. Pivot your back heel up. Bring your hands down to the mat. When you're ready, vinyasa. Right leg floats if you like. Take yourself through. Back bend, chaturanga, adho mukha svanasana, home base. Deep breath in, long breath out. Options to float. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Left knee, left upper arm, pause here, or chaturanga arms. Extend your left toes, right leg might lift. Inhale, bring it back. Kundanyasana B, lift up. For Kundanyasana A, keep coming forward. Hook that knee to the upper arm. Then lean forward a lot to catch yourself. Left leg extends, maybe right leg floats. Kundanyasana A. Inhale, come all the way back. Knee to chest. That strong core, look forward. Step through. Back heel spins down, warrior two. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Get that front heel to back arch alignment. Wiggle your toes further apart so your front thigh can become parallel one day. So there's enough space for that thigh to drop all the way down. Keep deepening with your exhale. Arms are strong, gaze is forward. Don't forget that back arm, it's still active. Outer back foot pressing down. Try to straighten your back leg. Two more breaths. Ujjayi breath in. And out. Now flip your left palm up, lower your right hand. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, take it back. Vikarita Virabhadrasana, exalt it. So this is really another variation of bliss, exaltation. Turn your chest open, let your heart shine here. Hand to the back of the head as you turn your heart open to the sky. Maybe right hand comes to this lower back or to the outer left thigh. Maybe the right hand behind your heart and left fingertips can come to meet it. Sometimes you need to assist this or use a strap. Turn your heart open, elbow points up, chest points up. Turn your heart up. Deep breath in, long breath up. One more, inhale, bend your front knee, exhale. Warrior two, unwind, inhale. Side angle pose, exhale, left forearm, to left thigh, right arm, start with it reaching up. See how you do here. You want not, you are avoiding the curling forward. So stay up high if you need. Right arm can sweep over the ear, pinky finger down, thumb up, looking underneath your right shoulder. Keep hugging the thighs toward the right side of your mat, inner right thigh rolling open. You can take your left hand down to a block or inside your left foot on the mat, stay here. Or maybe sweep your right hand to your sacrum Left arm underneath your left thigh. Maybe you go for a half bind or a full bind. Left fingertips around your right wrist. Roll your chest open. You're welcome to stay here in this bind. Or look forward. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. Svargadidas and a bird of paradise. I don't know if Babida is watching, but I know she loves this pose. So this one's for you, darling. Open up your chest. Extend your top leg, lift your heart, go out of the strong roots. Deep breath in, smile, exhale. And as you're ready, release back down. Back to warrior two, eventually side angle, warrior two. Beautiful work, everybody. As you're ready, 
Hands windmill down, step your right foot onto the toes. Take your vinyasa all the way back to downward dog. Take an extra chaturanga if you like. Deep breath in and a long breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Stay here for just two more breaths. I'm gonna do a little dog rescue. It's always an issue. All right, from downward facing dog, bring your toes together to touch. Again, we'll do those couple of hops. Bring the feet in a little bit closer to your hands if you like. Trying to get your shoulders more forward over your wrists, bend your knees, press into your hands, kick your bum. Three times, and then hop forward, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Reach your arms up to the sky, sit your hips low. From here, bring your weight into your right foot. Lift your left foot up and cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Bring your hands to your heart center as you sit deeper. And maybe you lean forward. Maybe you can hook your elbows. Maybe you're sitting upright. Feel free to go deeper if you like. Flex that left foot if the hips low. Ardha Utkatasana. This is the preparation for a Kapata Galavasana. You're welcome to stay here. Or maybe take a turn to the right side so you can use your hand on your foot, hand on your hip, or maybe turn and place your elbow underneath your left foot. Tend those fingertips, deep breath in, and a long breath out. Come back through your center. Ooh, might be a little tippy, it's okay. Back to chair pose. Stand up just a breath, a little mercy stand. Back to chair, press into your left foot. Right foot lifts, cross your ankle. Hands to your heart, sit deeper. Feel that opening into the right hip. Lean forward, maybe your elbows come forward. You're welcome to go deeper. Or come into a twist, so you can be gentle here. Left hand to your left hip, right hand under your foot. Or keep your palms together and see if you can hook your right elbow underneath your right foot. Turn and twist, sit deeper for three, two, and one, unwind, back to chair, deep inhale, exhale, lift your hips and fold, feels so good, inhale, lengthen, as you exhale, palms come flat, bend your knees, chaturanga, take your back bend, cobra or upward dog, come back to high plank, chaturanga if you like, adho mukha chanasana, deep breath in, and a long breath out. Before we carry on, ripple forward high plank pose. Step your right hand more forward <clears throat> to the center. Roll to the outer blade of your right foot. Lift your left arm up, Vashisthasana. You're welcome to stay here. You can always step your top foot in front or lower your bottom knee down for support or maybe stagger your feet. See if you can lift your hips higher and take your top arm over your ear again Pinky finger down, thumb up, and look underneath you. Really try to keep your chest aligned with your hips, everything in one line. Welcome to lift your top leg. Maybe you take tree pose. Maybe you float the leg. You can even take big toe lock. And let's release back through plank. Right to the other side, left hand forward. Roll to the outer blade of your left foot, Vashisasana. You're welcome to step that top foot in front, lower your bottom knee down, or stagger your feet. Lift your hips higher, reach your top arm up and over your ear, pinky down, thumb up. That same alignment, big strong arch in the right side. Stay here, you can float your right leg, maybe tree pose, maybe padangustasana. Wherever you are, lift those hips higher. Stay here for three, for two, and one. We'll come all the way back, back to plank pose, vinyasa. Back to downward dog. Extra chaturanga, don't forget. A chaturanga a day, or maybe like 20, it keeps the doctor away. Deep breath in, 
and a long breath out. And now inhale your right leg up to the sky. Right knee to right upper arm. Kundanasana again if you like. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. This time as you cross to the right side, or sorry, to the left side, see if you can hook your outer right foot with your left hand. If you can't, you can extend it onto the earth and extend your left arm up. But if you can, hook the foot, draw underneath your arm with your gaze, look up, pull your right foot to the right top corner of your mat. One more breath. Good, sweep it back up. Exhale, knee to chest. Keep coming forward, step from the center. Warrior two again. Deep breath in and a long breath out. And now on your next inhale, straighten your legs. Heel throw your back foot in just a little. Crazy sweetheart here. Inhale, reach forward. Pivot your arms, trikonasana. Take a breath in and a breath out. You're welcome to stay here if you like. Sweep your top arm over your ear. Maybe your bottom arm comes to reach it. Both hands extending forward. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Again, look underneath your top arm. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, left arm to your left, left hand to your left hip. Soften your right knee. <clears throat> Start to step forward, lifting your left leg up. As you do so, keep the hips and chest open. Keep your left foot active so you know where it is. Right fingertips can be on a block underneath your shoulder, so forward of your standing toes, slightly to the right. Stay here or chapasana, bend that top knee. Reach for the outer edge of your foot. Take it into your hands. Keep your chest open. Deep breath in. Focus and concentrate on one thing. Inhale. And exhale. And slowly release into standing L shape. So soften your right knee. Let your left leg come back behind you. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, let your palms come down. Now, if you want to work toward handstand, you might want to come to a wall for this. That's totally fine. My wall won't be in the camera view, so I won't use the wall for this. But what I do is I get my hands under my shoulders and hop my right foot further back. So keep the hands there, lean forward so your shoulders are over the top of your wrist. Soften your right knee and start to swing your left leg up and down. And from here, finger pads press down. <clears throat> your arms are super strong. So those strong hands and kick lightly. And see if you can bring your right leg in an angle. Making a number four in the air with your legs. Or maybe both hands meet. One more kick. If you've come to the wall, you're welcome to come back. Let's stay here for standing splits. Walk your hands toward your standing leg. Right hand behind your right calf. Pull up on the calf. Let your forehead come down. Left leg lift. Beautiful. Slowly come back. Standing L shape. We'll stand up now, bringing that left knee with us. Come all the way up to standing. Lift your leg up. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Hands to your heart. Sit down into the chair. And again, you can stay here, elbows in front, or twist one more time to the right. We'll come back to this, don't worry. Deep breath in and a long breath out. Deep breath in and a long breath out. Beautiful. Come back up. Reach up. Bring your knee with you. <clears throat> Warrior three. Send your fingertips forward. Reach your left leg back. Get long in the spine. Reach and reach and then step all the way back. Opening up to the long edge of your mat. For Prasarita Parutanasana, we'll get into a hip opener first. So, Take your feet as wide apart as your ankles, hands to your hips, and then turn your toes open. Let's bend deeply into the left knee. Extend your right leg out long. Heel pressing out, toes toward you. This is Skandasana. And let's move a little bit side to side before we settle in. So you can use your hands or float your hands to your heart. 
hug your heels toward each other. You're going to engage Mula Bandha. Inhale through center. Exhale, bend into the right. We'll just stay here for an extra breath or two. Press out through your left heel, toes toward you. Bend your right knee deeply, hug your heel. Inhale, keep your hips low through center. Exhale to the left, side to side. Inhale, slow. Exhale to the right. One more time, inhale, slow. Exhale to the left. Inhale, slow. Exhale to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. And this time, take your left fingertips out wide. Reach around with your right hand. Maybe you find a half bind or a full bind. Maybe you can wrap your left fingertips around your right wrist. Hug those heels. Open your chest. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And let's release to the other side. Use your hands or press into your palms. Right fingertips out to the right. Left arm lifts. Find your twist. Maybe you find a bind. Maybe your right hand wraps around your left wrist. Open your chest. Hug your heels. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back through center. Stay in the center. Turn your toes inward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Feel free to press into your hands and try to work your head toward the mat between your feet. Any variation you like might be a shoulder opener. Maybe you wrap your hands. If you're going for sheer shasana B, the tripod headstand, make a tripod with your head and your two hands. Hug your elbows. Use your strong core. You've been generating a lot of core energy here. Let the legs float up gently. Hug the elbows in, belly strong. If you're in the forward fold, working your head down toward the mat between your feet one day, if not today. So slowly we'll start to come down from headstand if you're there. Try to engage your inner thighs so much. Flex your feet that your heels can touch down before your toes. Then come to a halfway lift, everybody. Palms under your shoulders, lift your chest, and we'll turn ourselves back to the front of the mat. Lowering your left knee all the way down, right foot is planted. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Anjana Yasana, low crescent lunge. Pull your outer right hip back, left by forward. Inhale here. Exhale, let's float the palms as we straighten that front leg and bow forward. So try to keep your left hip over your knee. Inhale, come all the way back up, reach up. You can use your palms onto the mat or blocks if you like. Exhale, float back, bow deeply, let your arms extend. Again, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, pull it back. You're welcome to stay do you want to work toward a deeper variation of Ardha Hanuman or Hanuman, palms under your shoulders, or further forward, feel free also to use blocks. Right foot travels forward, right heel, left knee travels back. And you're also welcome to put a block under the top of your right thigh. That's a nice support. If you have a block, deep breath in. Bow forward if you like. Exhale, few deep breaths here. Stay connected to this idea of bliss, of samadhi. Can you find bliss even in more challenging moments or where there isn't really much stimulation, where there's stillness and quiet? How do you find that state? That state comes from acceptance and contentment, that this is it, this is the moment. All that there is is happening right now. Deep breathing. Slowly start to lift your chest if you're bowing in. Tuck your back toes, palms under your shoulders. Slide your back knee in until you can plant that front foot down. And again, we'll step into Vashistasana from here. So take your left hand forward. Either peace fingers, grabbing your front big toe, your right big toe, 
or you can step it back. See if you can step back and lift that leg up at the same time. Don't worry if you can't lift it. And Padangusasana, deep breath in and a long breath out. Beautiful. Let's keep the left hand down, right hand comes down, three-legged dog. And vinyasa. Beautiful control, everybody. Big breath in. Take it back, downward dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. And then inhale your right leg up to the sky. Stack your hip, bend your knee. Flip over into wild thing if you like. Or step your feet together to touch. Lift your hips. Work your right hand all the way down to the mat. Don't quite have the space. Knock over everything. Urfadhanyasana. And then flip yourself back around. Three-legged dog. One last vinyasa. Let's take it through all the way back. Extra chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Left leg lifts to the sky. Left knee to left upper arm. Float it out if you like. For vinyasana. Inhale, take it back. Left knee to right upper arm. This time you can thread through for fallen triangle or try to hook the outside of your left foot with your right hand. Look underneath your right arm. Pull your left foot to the top left corner of your mat. Strong opening. Big breath in. Oh, sweep it back. Knee to chest, forehead to knee, bow, bend in deeply, and then step through. Warrior two, just for the breath. Beautiful breath, everybody. Engage, inhale, exhale. Straighten your front leg. Shorten your stance just a little bit. Inhale, hinge forward. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Take any variations that you like here. Keep your chest open. Don't worry about how low that left hand is, but keep it light. Stay here, or again, that idea of sweeping the top arm over the ear, looking underneath, and then hug the left femur into the hip socket. Both arms reaching. Deep breath in and out. Right hand to right hip. Soften your left knee. Let's step forward. Finding Ardha Chandrasana. So your palm can come onto a block to the left and forward of your standing foot. Hand right under your shoulder. Keep your right foot active so you know where it is. Should be visible if you look down the front line of your body for your right toe. Reach your right arm up if you can. Maybe look up or soften your left knee. <laughs> Bend your right knee to kick your bum with your heel. Grab the outer edge of your foot. You might need to tap your left fingers down like I'm doing or find a block. Kick the foot up and away from you. Chapasana. Open your chest. Breathe in and out. Find your breath and your balance. Find that steadiness, that pause. Beautiful. Hands come down. Soften your left knee. Pull your left outer hip back. Right thigh rolls to the mat. Standing L shape. Now you're welcome to stay here. We're working toward a little bit of hop for hands, and you can move to the wall at this point. Tense your fingertips and hop your foot back just a little bit, like one, one and a half steps. So then you have the space to lift your left heel up as you lean forward. It's hard to do that if your hands are too close to your feet. Now soften your left knee, press firmly into your finger pads. You want to create maybe a number four shape in the air so your left knee will stay bent. 90 degrees. Let's go. Hop. Hop. Strong arms. Hop. Beautiful. Come back to standing L shape. Maybe walk your foot closer back to your hands. Wrap your left hand around your standing path. Pull your right leg up as your forehead comes down and the leg lifts. Slowly soften both knees. Right knee comes with you as you stand up. Hands to your hips. Cross your right flex ankle over your left thigh. We were here not too long ago. Hands to your heart. Sit down into the chair. And if you can, you can stay. You're welcome to stay here. 
or a little twist. <laughs> a little twist to your left side. Maybe you hook that elbow, tend your fingertips, turn and look. Hold here for three or two. And one, good work. Stand all the way up. Bring your knee with you. Reach your arms up. Super slow motion transition, warrior three. Outer left hip pulling back, right side down. Ooh, keep transitioning forward and back at the same time. Find your balance. To find that pause, hold the posture in stillness. And then step all the way back. Open up again to the long edge of the mat. And this time we'll take Samo Kanasana, wide-legged split. So start to walk your feet as far out to the short edges of your mat as you can. Might not be very far and you might need to keep a soften of your knees. You can bring blocks down for your hands or maybe your hands come all the way down. And if you can start to slide your feet apart Maybe come up onto the heels, toes curling back toward your shin bones, and let the heels lengthen away from each other. Maybe you come to your forearms. Maybe you have the full splits variation. Let's hold here for five deep breaths. Try to find that feeling of bliss or samadhi right here in this moment. It's very challenging when the pose is tough. For a lot of thoughts going through your mind, just focus on one thing, your intention, your dedication, and your breath. Let those weave together as one thought to keep you here in this moment. I am bliss. One more breath. Slowly walk your hands back under your shoulders. Heel toe your feet in. Just enough. We'll take one more variation here. Prasavita Padottanasana. Lift your heart. Inhale. And as you exhale, fold forward. Let the crown come down. Maybe you grab your feet with your hands. Maybe you take a different variation. If the crown of your head easily touches, then walk your feet closer together. Give yourself a little bit more room to stretch. Hips are lifting up. Crown of the head coming down. Deep breathing, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now inhale, lift your chest halfway, return to the front of the mat, lower your right knee down, slide it as far back as you can, and then rise up, Anjaneyasana, low crescent lunge. Arms reach up to the sky, big inhale. As you exhale, sweep your hands back. Let your left leg straighten. Keep your right hip over your knee. Arms sweep back like wings. Inhale, come up again. Big breath in, open it up. Anjaneyasana. Exhale, sweep the hands back, back forward. And the last one, inhale. And exhale, sweep back. Now stay here or bring your hands under your shoulders, working toward your variation of Ardha Hanumanasana or Hanumanasana. You can use blocks on your hands or the top of your left thigh. Keep pulling your outer left hip back, right thigh forward. Something I've worked on a lot over the years. So keep adjusting rather than trying to go deeper, try to get that proper alignment. Stay upright or bow. Bring your palms back under your shoulders, tuck your back toes to slide your right knee in until you can plant your left foot down. And from here again, we'll step into Vashisasana with the option for the big toe lock. So right hand under your right shoulder, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Peace fingers are wrapped around the inside of your left foot as you inhale, open it up. Extend all the way up. 
Don't worry if you don't have the bar. Deep breath in and out. Let's turn it around. Three-legged dog. Mm -hmm. Vinyasa. Beautiful. And three-legged dog again. Stack your hip, bend your knee, open it up. You can flip over into wild thing. Turn your right fingertips out first before you flip. Go right to Urdhva Dhanurasana. Feet are parallel. Turn your right fingertips out, back toward you. Left hand comes to the mat. Maybe if you have it today, you might not. So you can practice. Breathe in and breathe out. One more. Inhale and exhale. And then right hand roots down. Flip yourself all the way back around. Take your vinyasa here. Breath in and breath out. Inhale and exhale. Your next inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. Walk, step or hop forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise all the way up. Stay standing. Hands to heart center, Samastupiti. Step down into your right foot. Lift your left foot up again. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Sit down into the chair. Hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Twist to your right. Now you're welcome to stay here. This is enough for you. Or maybe you might need blocks. Take your left hand slightly forward of your right foot. Right hand out, shoulder width apart. Stay here or lean into the shelf of your elbow. Maybe stay or lean forward more so much. Let your right leg float, drag and fly. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly come back. Grab your right, sorry, your left big toe with Padangustasana grip with your left hand. Stand up, bring it with you. Extend forward. Open it up. Utita Hasta Padangustasana. Take a look over your right shoulder. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring your knee back up. And relax back down. Beautiful work. And lift your right leg up to the sky. Open it up. Cross your flexed right ankle over your left thigh. Sit back and down into the chair. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Twist to your left. Hook your elbow if you can. Don't worry if you can't, you work into your stages of the pose. If you want to come into a balance and you may need blocks, place your right hand slightly forward and to the left of your left toes. Left hand comes out shoulder distance apart. Lean onto the shelf of your elbow so much forward that your left toes might float and you look to the side. Parsva Bhuja Dandasana, drag and fly. Press into your strong hands for three, for two, and slowly come back into the half chair, right fingertips inside of your right big toe, Padangustasana, stand up, bring your leg with you, extend, left arm reaches, exhale, open the leg to the right, look to your left, Utita Hasta Padangustasana, deep breath in, and a deep breath out, inhale, back through center, reach up, and bring it all the way back down. Just take a breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Fold forward. Inhale. Lengthen. Take a vinyasa. Exhale. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, ripple forward. High plank pose. And this time, lower your right forearm down to the mat. Left forearm down to the mat. Hug your toes toward your elbows. You can lower your knees if you like. So forearm plank pose. Feel free to stay here. Or start to walk your feet in toward your elbows, coming into dolphin down dog, looking forward to your palms. 
Lift your right leg up. Maybe you stay. You might even want to move to the wall here. Do a couple of legs up. Preparation for Pincha Mariasana. Left leg can lift up. A couple of legs up. Beautiful. And now plant your hands fully. Grip them up. Maybe widen them just a little bit. Keep in the dolphin down dog. Soften your knees. Push yourself forward. Do a chaturanga. Cobra upward dog. Back to chaturanga. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward dog. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Let's practice that again. Other side. Left forearm down. Right forearm down. Step it back. Back plank pose. Forearm plank pose. Stay here. Or walk your toes in towards your elbows. This time you can start with your left leg lifting. Soften your right knee. Couple of light hops as you look forward. You might even be at a wall. Right leg lift. Couple of leg hops. And now, spread your hands just a little bit further apart. Stay in this dolphin down dog. Grip your mat tightly. Bend your knees. Shift forward. High plank. Chaturanga. Cobra. Upward dog. Woo! Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale. And exhale. And now take a moment, soften down onto your knees, sit back onto your heel. So today we'll play a little bit longer working with headstand or forearm stand. So if you have a wall, you can go to the wall or I'll teach you the preparation for it and then you can work at the wall later if it's not somewhere accessible for you right now. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to move from headstand into forearm stand. So for headstand, we make a strong foundation with our fingers interlaced, our elbows shoulder distance apart, and we rest the head here. If you want to work at a wall for the forearm stand, you can separate your hands and arms like in number 11. You can interlace your hands. I don't really recommend it though because it makes it harder to transition through the poses. I would recommend you have your hands flat with your um, thumbs maybe angled in slightly toward each other, but to make sure you're hugging the elbows in. But coming for headstand first, let's interlace the hands, put the forehead down, crown down. Now, get that same idea of the scapular push-up, so push your forearms down and get your shoulders away from your ears and then place the crown of the head straight down. Lift your knees up and walk your feet in close to your elbows. And now practice lifting your head up off the mat here by pressing down firmly into your elbows and forearms. And that's the feeling you want in headstand. You don't want to sink down and put the weight on your head. If anything, you're pushing down with the foundation of your arms. And from here, you're welcome to use a wall. Maybe float one leg up. Don't hop. Try to get the other leg to come up and meet it. Maybe both legs come up at the same time. You can do that too. Don't hop though. Work it in a way that's sustainable for you. Maybe you bend the knees to come up slowly. Try holding the headstand. When you're ready to come down, one leg at a time, or both legs down. And just take a rest in child pose. Take a few breaths in child pose. So the foundation for headstand is the same as the foundation for forearm stand. It's a pushing down of the shoulder girdle to round the upper spine and keep the crown of the head just lightly touching if you're going to headstand, not touching at all if you're in forearm stand. Okay, next stage, if you're working at a wall, you can do this at the wall later or while you're listening. You'll interlace your hands again. Make that foundation for the headstand, crown of the head down, elbows hugging in. Make your way into your headstand. You might be bending your knees to get there, but don't hop up. Maybe you pike the legs up. And from here again, practice pressing into your elbows and forearms so much that your head is not even touching the mat. If you have this, then you can start to separate your hands. Thumbs are still touching. Press down into the foundation so much that your head is still lifting. And you can start to take your gaze forward. 
and find Kanchamaryasana. The beautiful way to access this posture and avoid all of the hopping and jumping, have total control, and you can find the stillness in the posture. Find your bliss. Okay, three, two, one, and you might not be able to pipe down. Slowly lower down. Take a child pose. Take five deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Maybe a Brahmari breath or a really nice long sigh. I've been practicing those two poses every day for a really long time. So if you're not quite there yet, don't worry. It takes a long time to, to find comfort and really that idea of samadhi or bliss in those postures is difficult to find. So let that be part of your yoga journey. Okay, let's take one last vinyasa here when you're ready. You can, uh, you can step back to downward dog, flow through your vinyasa, ripple forward, high plank, chaturanga. And my favorite activity of all in yoga is to hop through to our seat. Feel free to watch me if you like. So come high on your toes, bend your knees a little bit, and then lengthen the legs in the air so you can straighten them out as you land on your bum. And float it through, all that strong core helping you out, coming onto your seat. Let's move the flesh around the seat from side to side. Send your fingertips out, reach your arms up. Take a big breath in and let's fold forward, Hashimotanasana. Deep inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Take a few deep breaths here, about five. Slowly roll up. You're welcome to turn to the long edge of your mat if you like. Open up your legs wide. So this is very similar to Samokonasana, but seated. So Upavishta Konasana. Take your fingertips back behind you. Lengthen your chest forward. And we'll start to hinge at the hips. Try to keep your legs and feet active. You might need blocks maybe to support you. Wherever you can go to in this pose. Let yourself lengthen and fold. Try to keep your legs active so you feel that stretch in the inner thighs, inner groin, hamstring, the hips, glutes. Try to take a long spine if you can. And for some people that are deep, feel free to reach forward. Try to get your belly and chest on the mat. up enough to take your right forearm onto your right thigh or inside of your right leg. Left hand to your left hip again to get that twist. And one final time here, looking underneath the arm up toward the ceiling, extending your left fingertips across. Try to keep your left sitting bones down. Maybe you can grab your foot, maybe not. Try to keep length through the side body, turning your chest open. Take this to the other side. Left forearm to the left thigh or inside, right hand to right hip. Try to keep your right foot active so your right sitting bone is rooted down. Inhale, reach your top arm up and over your ear. Look underneath your arm, get that beautiful side body stretch. Stay here, or maybe you can bind the foot. Inhale all the way back up through center. Let's turn to the right leg again. Inhale. Exhale, lengthen over. And you can take your left hand on the outside of your right foot and pull yourself more to the right. Intend your right fingertips really off to the right. 
And the more you pull your outer right hip back, and maybe even turn your right toes to the right, you'll feel the stretch into the outer right leg. Let's arc up and over to the other side. Face your right, left leg, inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold, and maybe you grab the outside of your left foot with your right hand, left fingertips, tug it out to the side in line with your shoulder. Lengthen, exhale, and maybe turn your left toes more out to the left. Try to keep both sitting bones rooted down. Inhale, come all the way back through center. Gather your knees in toward your chest. Give your legs a little shake if you need. We'll come down onto our backs. We'll do three back bends today. So you have the option to do supported bridge pose with the block under your sacrum, little bridge pose with the um, feet down and the shoulders down, or to lift all the way up. <clears throat> Urdhva Dhanurasana. So come down onto your back. <clears throat> Walk your feet underneath your knees. Arms beside your body to start if you're going for Satubhanda Sarvangasana. If you want supported bridge, lift your hips and slide a block under, or any kind of support underneath your sacrum. If you're going for Urdhva Dhanurasana right away, press your hands up to the ceiling. Bring your fingertips beside your ears, fingers pointing back toward you, elbows up to the ceiling. Either variation, lift your hips. If you want to interlace your hands under your back for Satubhanda Sarvangasana, the little bridge pose, you can. Or from here, press into your hands, lift your hips. Lift your head, press into your hands again, come all the way up. Try to hug your inner thighs and knees toward each other. Try to straighten your legs and arms if you're in Urdhva Dhanurasana. If you're in little bridge pose, squeeze your knuckles toward your heels. See if you can lift your hips higher. Hold where you are for three more deep breaths. If you're in Earth, but then you're awesome. Come on to your crown. Release through little bridge pose. If you're a little bridge, release your arms, hands, and then release your hips all the way down. Take your feet wide, inner knees to touch. Either hands on your belly and your heart, or hands underneath your hips if you need a little hip, a hand release, hip release. Take a breath in. Maybe sigh out your mouth. One more in and out. And the second back bend. I'll give you an option, uh, an option here for a leg lift as well. So either arms beside your body, feet are tucked in inside of the width of your hands, so not too wide apart. Press your palms up beside your shoulders. Come onto the crown of your head first. Everybody lift your hips. Come onto the crown for Urdhva, widen your hands. Everybody push up. Now an option is to bring your right foot more to the center. From either variation, left knee lifts to the chest. Press your left foot straight up to the ceiling. Deep breath in and a breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Take one more breath wherever you are. Lower your foot down. Slowly come down. Either little bridge pose, release your hands. Come down to the crown of your head from Urdhva. This time, soles of the feet together, knees out wide, and hands can be under the hips for a little wrist release. Come onto the belly and your heart. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Okay, we'll do the same variation other side, but this time it will be the right knee that comes into the chest. So little bridge pose, arms beside your body or fingertips beside your ears. Lift your hips, come onto the crown for Urdhva Dhanurasana. Widen your hands, push up. And this time left foot to the center, right knee in toward the chest. Press your foot up, hold for two breaths. When you're ready to come down, step the foot down. Unbind your hands for little bridge or come onto the crown for Urdhva. 
everybody come all the way down. Just take a moment here, either with your feet together, knees out wide, or feet apart, knees together, hands underneath you, or onto the heart and belly. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. And out. So have some options here for an inversion. So you're welcome to take the Vikarita Karani, which is legs up and arms up. If you want to move to the wall for Shirshasana A or on your mat, you're welcome to do that too. Halasana Cloud Pose, you'll kick your feet, knees and hips over your head. Support your lower back with your palms. Just a bit more on my back here for Cloud Pose. You're welcome to stay here or interlace your hands. If you want shoulder stance or mangasana, walk your hands closer to your shoulders and let the legs lift vertical straight up if you can. And there might be variations that you take here. Maybe you cross one ankle over top and you use that little lock of the ankles to pull your legs to straight. Wherever you are, we'll take 20 breaths. So you can decide which posture you'd like to stay in. You can interlace the hands for cloud pose. I'll take the headstand pose. It's something that I like to practice every day. Yeah. Stay focused on your breath. Especially in these inversions, more blood flow going to the head from the heart. So this is the energetic flow of samadhi, the blood moving up to the crown of the head and out. You can feel and notice the difference. What happens to the mind when the blood is flowing easily toward the crown? Promoting a feeling of samadhi or bliss. Remember, if you're in headstand, that you're pushing down into your elbows and forearms so the crown of the head is not touching the mat very much, very light, putting space around the shoulders and neck. When you're ready to come down from either of your inversion, you might still be up there, it's no problem. For cloud pose and shoulder stand, come through cloud pose, slowly lowering down onto your back. For headstand, I like to sit up, but you might like a child pose. From child pose, if you're there, you'll rise up. Now, I'm going to offer you some options for a hip opener. If you're lying onto your back and you want to stay on your back, you're welcome to take Supta Baddha Panasana. You can bring the feet as close as you like. If you want one that's a little bit more intense, you can bring, this is more for the inner thighs as well, and bring the heels toward your groin and make a basket with your hands for your feet and let the knees push away from you. If you want to take a supine pigeon, Cross one ankle over your other thigh. We've done this a few times today, so it might feel really nice. You can also take Gomakasana, Supta Gomakasana Supine, across the thighs. And we'll have a, a couple of minutes on each side, so I'll let you know when to switch. If you would like to rise up and take your pigeon upright, maybe you come from downward dog, right shin forward, left leg back, and then switch, or double pigeons, so you can take either your, your right shin on the bottom, left shin on top, Take two minutes on each side, so you decide which pose is best for you. I'm going to take double pigeon today for an odd pose. You can bow forward from here if you like. If you're in double pigeon, what's really nice, what I like is to put the blocks out in front, rest my elbows on top, thumbs to the neck, to the nape of the neck like Anahatasana, and let the heart melt.
let the head go. Take a few more breaths on this side. And get ready to release yourself. So depending which pose you're in, you might want to go to downward dog to switch it up. You might want to just shake out your legs in the air. If you're in double pigeon, you might want to lean back into your hands, you might extend your legs out in front. And then you can switch sides. So I have my left shin on the bottom last time, the right leg will come on top. Just switch your sides. And we'll take two more minutes for this side. If you're in Sukta Baddha Konasana, you're welcome to stay there or maybe bring the feet in in that little basket of the hands. And choose your variation. Again, if you're in this double pigeon, bring your elbows. If you don't have blocks, lots of other things you can find in your house <laughs> to use, like books. Slowly, you'll prepare yourself to come out. Take your time. You still have a little bit more time. You might need to go to downward dog or give your legs a shake or lean back into your hands. And take that lots of time to do that. We'll end our practice today with your favorite twist. So I will lead an upright twist today. So come up to your seat if you like. If you're on your back and you want to do a supine twist, you can. So some options are lying onto your back. The knees go to the right. Knees go to the left and hold on each side for a couple of minutes. Any variation of the supine twist. If you're sitting upright, you can come with me. Keep your legs extended. Bring your left knee in towards your chest and step your left foot over top of your right leg. Feel free to bend that right knee if you like. Tent your left fingertips behind you. Take a big breath in as you reach your arm up to the sky. As you exhale, hook your right elbow around your left knee or hug the knee into your chest and sit up tall. Take an inhale to lengthen. As you exhale, turn and twist. Look over your left elbow, left shoulder. Feel free to stay here or take a bind. I like to wrap my right hand in front of my right knee. Some people like to bring the left fingertips behind, maybe to the inside of the right thigh. Maybe you find a full bind, getting the hands to meet as your knee. Sitting up tall, if you get the bind, try not to round, so don't miss the purpose of the posture, which is to lengthen and twist. One more breath. 
As you inhale, unwind yourself, open it up, twist to the right. And then we'll switch. So if you're down on your back, switch your legs. You can shake out your legs if you like here. And then bring, bring your right knee into your chest, step it over top of the left. Bend your left knee if you like. Right fingertips come behind you. You'll inhale your left arm straight up to the sky. Exhale, give yourself a twist to the right. Make sure your spine is long. Take your body options. Maybe you bring your left hand to your left knee. Maybe you wrap your right fingertips around to the outer left hip. Maybe you take the full bind of the hands. If you're binding though, again, remember to try to sit up tall. There's not really any point in binding if you're really struggling and you're rounding the spine a lot. Use a strap for that if you need. Looking over your right shoulder the best you can. One more breath. As you inhale, unwind through center. Little counter twist to the left. And back through center. We'll make our way down onto our backs if you're not there already. Take the whole the way down onto your back. Take your time to get there. Hug your knees into your chest. Happy baby pose. Take your knees out wide. Wrap your hands around the outer edges of your feet. Rock a few times side to side if you like to roll out across the sacrum. Nice and slow. Maybe extend your left leg up as you bring your right knee all the way down to the mat. Left arm straightens at the leg. Left knee comes down. Right arm straightens at the leg. All the way back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a great big squeeze. Bring your forehead up to your knees. Breath in. Turn the breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. When you release gently, let your legs soften. Let your arms soften. Open yourself up into a restful, easeful pose. Neutralize your body. Take a full inhale through your nose and a big sigh out your mouth. Now stay with me here for the next minute and a half or so of Shavasana. So before you go in, let's close our practice with one beautiful own together. In your mind's eye, bring back your intentions, if you set one, your dedication, the idea of bliss or samadhi. Take a deep clearing breath in through your nose first. A big sigh out your mouth. Exhale. Inhale for own. Big breath in. Oh. Allow yourself to soften completely. Be at ease. Be at peace. Allow yourself to flow into the state of samadhi and bliss. And thank you so much for sharing your energy here with me live or afterward if you practice through Facebook or YouTube. Thank you so much for your support, all of your kind comments and your encouragement. Continue to share these practices with you together as long as needed so we can see each other again in person. A beautiful day. Enjoy the sunshine. Please reach out and connect. Namaste.